Today, a judge sentenced election denier Tina, denier Tina Peters to nine years behind bars. Thank you for joining us. I'm Alexandra Lewis. And I'm Sam Shocker. Peters denied Donald Trump lost the election, then got caught tampering with Mesa County's voting systems in an unsuccessful attempt to prove it. Today, the former Republican clerk kept much of the same tone, insisting that she did nothing wrong. Nine News' Mark Salinger was in court today as the judge read her sentence. He joins us live from Grand Junction with more. Mark, this judge, we watched it in real time. This judge held nothing back. Yeah, absolutely nothing bad. Tina Peters is now in custody of the Mesa County Sheriff's Office here in Grand Junction. She was led out of that courtroom earlier today in handcuffs by those sheriff's deputies. As we talked about, it was really an astonishing morning listening to the judge talk about all the damage that Tina Peters has done to the election system here in Mesa County in the county that she was the clerk of. Tina Peters spoke to the judge for more than 40 minutes today, asking him to only give her probation. He chose Quite the opposite, saying that she's a danger to society and someone who has no remorse. He says prison is the only place that fits for a person like her. And prison is for those folks where we send people who are a danger to all of us. Whether it by, be by the pen or the sword or the word of the mouth. Prison is where folks go, where punishment is what we're focused on. Because the crime committed is so significant that anything less would unduly mitigate the seriousness of the same. So let's talk a little bit more about that nine year sentence behind bars. 8.5 of that eight and a half years will be in prison, six months here in the county jail. There were a lot of legal experts who were looking at this case and saying, well, maybe she could just get probation. She doesn't have any prior history. This was a nonviolent case. Then there was the long end of what she faced, which was up to two decades in prison. The judge sentenced her to nine years. That was kind of around that time that the prosecution was asking for, somewhere in that mid-range. Again, Tina Peters, the former Mesa County clerk, will spend the, nine, the next nine years incarcerated. In Grand Junction, I'm Mark Salinger, 9 News. Mark, thank you. We're joined by Kyle Clark now, who probably arguably has been watching this case closer than anybody in the country. My first question for you is, what is your reaction to this? Were you surprised when you're like listening to this judge go on and on? Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, and, and I'm surprised she got nine years. I think there were so many mitigating factors in her favor that lean toward probation, right? Mm -hmm. uh, first time offender, nonviolent crime, uh, her age. Uh, th she had a lot going for her. But she also was so defiant, arguing with the judge, continuing to push conspiracy theories. She essentially put on the evidence that they said was immaterial to her case and should not be presented at trial. All of her election conspiracy stuff. She put it on on a PowerPoint at sentencing. She basically held her own little mini trial and the, the judge was not having it. And when people got up and spoke on her behalf, other election deniers, and he would ask them, did you do a hand count? Was it the same as the Dominion machines? Oh, it was. You could just see him just absolutely just digging that hole, digging that hole because he was he was fed up with the lies. And what about the Republican commissioner who spoke uh, against her? And again, this makes it nonpartisan, right? Like this, the, the, the commissioner, if you remember what they said mm -hmm. more than I do, in so many words said that uh, this is an embarrassment to our county. Yeah. Uh, so speak to that, please. I think that's important. Commissioner Cody Davis, Republican, got up there and said that Mesa County is a community with a lot of pride. He's a fifth generation Colorado. He mentioned his kids are sixth generation Coloradans in the Valley. And he said that Tina Peters had made Mesa County a national laughing stock wow. because now they are associated with those lies right. and those false claims about election fraud. I was in shock when I, I watched I, the whole thing. And in he real just time. kept going on and on and a charlatan. And some of the words that he was using, I was Googling, and I'm like, is this what I think he's calling her? Let, let's, listen, let's listen to some of this. Let's listen to some of what Judge Matthew Barrett said. It's one of the strongest sentencing statements I've ever heard from a judge. It's just more lies. No objective person believes them. No, at the end of the day, you cared about the Jets, the podcasts, and the people fawning over you. You abdicated your position as a servant to the Constitution, and you chose you over all else. Yes, you are a charlatan, and you cannot help but lie as easy it is for you to breathe. You betrayed your oath for no one other than you. I mean, my goodness. Um, 
I, I, I'll leave you with this. The judge said this at the beginning of his sentencing. And if you're curious, why did she get nine years for this? He said, the sentence I impose must deter Ms. Peters from engaging in similar conduct in the future, but it must also deter others from engaging in this type of conduct. He gave a sentence to her. He gave a message to anybody else who might be tempted to break the law to try and prove election rigging conspiracy theories. He said, ask all the questions you want, mm -hmm. but you're not going to break the law to do it. And there are trials to come in Georgia yep. and other mm -hmm. places. I mean, this is sending a message nationwide. Yes. Yeah, Will I've been looking all afternoon to see if anybody involved with the election lies around 2020 has gotten a harsher sentence than that, and I don't think it comes close. Mm -hmm. You get a couple months here, a couple months there. I found one three-year sentence for somebody who actually was engaged in some voter fraud and also pushed the claims. I haven't seen anything like nine years. Wow. It's, it's a heck of a statement. Thank you so much, Kyle Clark. Might be a precedence, that's for sure.